I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to solve algebraic equation with inspection or by systematic trial. Question here is solve each equation by inspection or systematic trial. We have four questions here. You can pause the video, copy, solve them and then look into my suggestions. The first one is x divided by 2 equals to 14. Second one is p plus 7 equals to 12 then 3 times y equals to 27, 12 minus a equals to a. Now that could be difficult. Okay, <clears throat> let us see how to solve them. The first one is x over 2 equals to 14. If I read as half of a number, see what is x plus 2, x over 2, half of a number. Half of a number is 14, so what should be the number? Well, the number should be 28, correct? So, by inspection, we can answer like this. Half of a number is 14. So, that is our thinking, right? So, what we think here is half of a number is 14. And so, we say the number should be, so we say number is equals to twice this, which is 28. So that is how you could get the answer by inspection. So let's work it out. If I write x equals to 28, what do I get? 28 divided by 2 is 14, right? So that is correct. So like this, you can answer by inspection also. The next number is, I mean the equation is, p plus 7 equals to 12. p is the variable. So when you add 7 to p, you get 12. Or you could say 7 more than p is 12. So what should be p? Or 7 plus what is 12, right? So here the question could be 7 plus what is 12? So 7 plus 5, oh, okay. So we know 7 plus 5 is 12. So p equals to 5. And you can work it out. What is 7 plus 5? It is indeed 12, right? So that could be the way to solve using inspection method. I hope you understand these steps involved, right? Now let's look into part C, which is 3 times a number is 27. If you read like this, 3 times a number is 27. And we're going to 3 times 9 is 27. So y equals to 9, right? Since 3 times 9 is 27. So that is what we mean by inspection, correct? The last one here is 12 minus a equals to a. Now what we can do in such cases is that we don't know what a should be, so we can try out, right? So for different values of a, let's say, let's take a as 4. So if I take a as 4, what do I get? I get 12 minus 4 and that is equal to 8. Well, it is not 4, correct? So we can likewise try other values. We can say a equals to, so let us say 5. If a is 5, then what? 12 minus 5 is 7. So we find that it is closer, right? Okay, let's try 6. So we say a equals to 6. And then what do we get? We get 12 minus 6 is 6. So both are same values. You get the point, right? So we say, well, a is equal to 6 in our case. Well, I've drawn this t-table so that you could try out many values and then get the answer. So that could be systematic trial. So you see, when you select a number, then select another number. If you are coming closer to the answer, 5 and 7 are closer, continue that pattern. If I would have selected bigger number, right, then I would have gone further away, correct? So in that case, change your direction. So that is the kind of system which you could work with to solve equations. I hope this simple video gives you insight to how to solve equations by inspection. Thank you.